Hi, this is Mark. So this is the Euro Pound that I left open at the weekend. Now, I only leave something over the weekend if I've got at least 40 or 50 pips locked in. And the reason is, is the spreads that they open can take you out without you realising. So this Euro Pound, I have 46 pips worth of breathing room. At the minute, the Euro Pound normally spreads one or less. At the minute, if I want to place a trade here, the spread has moved to 15 pips, 84, 96, 12, 13 pips, it's moving around. It was 15 pips a minute ago. Some of the more exotic pairs, uh, the Pound Aussie for example, can be, I've seen it at 50 pips at the open and the close. This is the Euro New Zealand across pair. What's this one doing at the moment? This one is 25, 33 pip spread. What that means is if you placed, and let's say you you were long on this pen, you've left it open over the weekend, and you've left your stop down here 30 pips away, you would suddenly be taken out, and it could well jump the stop as well. So that's why I don't leave trades over the weekend unless I have a lot of breathing space. And as I say, if you have a look at some of the wilder ones, I don't know what this Aussie CAD's like at the minute, have a quick look at this one. At the moment, the Aussie CAD is 20 pips, 19, 20 pips. So just be careful leaving trades over the weekend unless you've got enough breathing space, and particularly the cross pairs. And here is the pound Aussie and the pound Aussie you can see at the moment the spread is 40 pips so you think you're going to get your order filled here and it could well be it's going to get filled 40 pips if you're going to go long higher up or 40 pips lower down that is why you don't leave orders in over the weekend and on a cross pair like this with at least 80 90 pips breathing space don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to our channel.